Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. My name is Raymond and in this video I'm doing an unboxing of Marvel United by Come On Games. It's a game for 1 to 4 players which plays in about 30 to 60 minutes for ages 14 and up. And it's a cooperative game in which every player plays one of the superheroes from the Marvel Universe and you're trying to thwart a villain's plot. Now before I open up the box and show you the components I'd like to ask you all to please hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and if you have you're an absolute legend please also check out my patreon page by clicking the link in the description below this video and there you can see what kind of perks you can get for supporting my channel and with that out of the way let's open up the box and check what's inside let's take a look at the box first marvel united with all of the heroes the main characters from the marvel movies uh, chibi style with the big heads and the small bodies from uh, Japanese anime which looks pretty cool a game by Eric M. Lang and Andrea Kiervesio with art by Edouard Come on Games, Spin Master Games and the Dutch edition was done by Happy Meeple Games and here on the back you can see some of the components, so the cards that are in play with the miniatures that are in the box, the heroes and the villains in red here. The components are listed here, so yeah, let's uh, open up the box and check the components. Alright, so first of all we get a rule book, which isn't too big. First of all, you got all the components listed again, the setup, winning and losing, the villain's turn, and your actions, hero's turn, turn order, missions, and some additional rules and challenges. And this is a uh, summary of a turn. So that's handy, all in Dutch in this case. We get a punch board with all of these tokens and they are double-sided these are blank on one side and have a, a villain on the other side so these might be civilians and these might be thugs all right then we have more tokens so we have these the different kinds of tokens that the heroes use and a couple more of these also double-sided and they do indeed punch very easily, so that's good. Then we have a plastic insert with a cover. Let's see if I can just take that off. I can. It says Marvel United, which is really nice. And these are all the miniatures in their own little uh, spots right there. It looks really good. Uh, good. <laughs> we have a little uh, cube here, which also has its own spot. We have these uh, locations. Let me just get that off. And yes, yeah, since they do have text on them, uh, this is a language dependent game. So I'm pretty happy with the uh, Dutch translation here. So we have all of these uh, different locations with nice artwork on them. Marvel United on the back. Then we have this board here. Let's see, let's take that off. So this is for the villains. So we have the Taskmaster right here. Again, everything is translated. Taskmaster on the back here. We have Ultron. And we have the Red Skull. So yeah, all different. So we have those. Then we have the Villain's Board here, which is also just a card, really. Not, uh, not too thick. But this will sit on the table. So we have that. Then we have a, a bunch of cards, so uh, two different vaults there. Let me open those up. One of these stacks has all the hero cards, so here's for Wasp, for example. So we have and, and Ant-Man as well. So we have all of those cards. There's Wasp, has some art on it, and an action you can take. Here's double action. So these are really nice and easy to recognize with all of these symbols on them and some of them do have text uh, which in this case again is translated of course and those go in here 
Uh, there seems to be enough room for sleeves, although the height of this vault might not be enough, but there's an additional vault here which isn't used, so if you do sleeve them, you can put them in here too, even though this insert is uh, very thin. There's very thin plastic material, so that's why this is, yeah, somehow um, warped a bit. So here is the Ant-Man cards, again with these icons, and some of them will have text. We have Captain Marvel. There we have the Hulk. Hulk's cards, pretty cool. Iron Man. And Black Widow here. Yep. And finally, Captain America. All right, so those are all the heroes that you'll also find uh, miniatures for. And the other pack of cards had the uh, villains. So this is Red Skull. So there are different types of cards here. And again, some of them have text, and others will just have icons. And there are little vaults underneath here to put all those tokens, I guess. And then we have threat cards. So these are the uh, different threats that uh, Red Skull will bring into play. Uh, we have got Crossbones here, Madame Hydra. We've got Bob, Agent of Hydra. <laughs> Hydra Elite Troops, uh, Undermining and Brainwashing. All right, we have Ultron, same idea. So these type, type of cards for Ultron with the threat cards. Ultron Clones, Ultron Clones, Duplicate, Duplicate, Ultron Virus and Ultron Virus. And being an AI, of course, then we have Taskmaster. Again, same kind of cards here, and a few of them have text. And the threat cards here. Super villains, super villains, explosive trap, and suffocating trap. Okay, so we have those. And then we have some other cards here. So we have challenges. Uh, eliminating threats, saving civilians, and defeating uh, thugs or crooks. So we have those, and you can put your tokens on those. And this just has text on it. Heroic, uh, difficult, and average or medium uh, challenges. All right. Now let's take a closer look at the miniature. So let's start with the red skull here. So here we go, really fun looking miniature. Nicely detailed as well, the base even has detail on it. I hope it stays focused on the actual miniature. Uh, like the expression on the face, and of course the heads are bigger in proportion. They are entirely just chibi uh, scale. But that looks really cool, red skull. Got the Taskmaster here, big evil grin mask, holding a sword and a shield, and a cape or a cloak. Then we've got Ultron, a robot of course, also looks nice. We've got Ant-Man here, who is standing on a penny, which is pretty cool. United States of America with the eagle, <laughs> just to indicate that he's tiny. That's pretty nice. Like that. We got the wasp on the other side. The wasp on a die here, also indicating that she's very small. <laughs> a D6. Good, good quality plastic too. You know, it's just slightly bendy, so it won't break easily. So that's good, but it's sturdy enough that it won't, uh, you know, it's, that it's not floppy or anything. Just good quality plastic. We got uh, Black Widow. 
again these sticks you see they're pretty thin but uh, they give a little so yeah nothing to worry about really cool dynamic pose serious look on the face we got Iron Man here with that blast from his uh, rocket boots there that's pretty cool flying through the air it's really cool Yeah, and we have Captain America with the shield, of course. Really nice with his helmet and his armor standing on the street there. I like the little details that you have the the concrete from the road and the the curbstone here and the little grate for the sewer. Really nice touch those details. We got Hulk, who of course smashes the very ground he walks on. <laughs> Pretty cool, nice, big and beefy Hulk. Really cool. And finally, Captain Marvel. Flying as well. I use this, what is it, this sash as a means to prop her up. So that's pretty cool. Captain Marvel with the Mohawk. All right, so those are all the miniatures in the core game of Marvel United. And that's it. And so that was my unboxing of Marvel United by Kman. I'd like to thank Happy Meeple Games for donating a Dutch copy of the game for me to have a look at. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That really helps the channel. And also check out my Patreon page by clicking the link in the description below or the icon at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.